This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Our surface map features a surface high pressure over Iowa and Minnesota, and that unfortunately is bringing us a good cold shot of cold air. As you can see uh, from the orientation of the isobars, we've got northerly flow coming all the way from northern Canada all the way down into the southeastern United States. Aloft at 500 millibars, or roughly about 20,000 feet, we have a trough over the eastern half of the country, and of course that is helping uh, with the cold air. And of course across the northern tier of the United States, we have a lot of cold air. Look at that, minus 18 in northern Minnesota this morning. Lots of minus values up there in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the eastern part of the Dakotas. Cold air extends all the way down uh, to the edge of the Ohio River Valley and then back eastward into the New England states, northern Maine even in those negative digit values. Fortunately for us in central Alabama and the southeastern U.S., we don't have any negative values, but temperatures across central Alabama at the time I was making this uh, video were, were generally around the freezing mark in the Tennessee River Valley. They were just a little bit colder as the cold air advection's a little bit stronger up there, and they were in the 20s. Looks like we should uh, see temperatures warm today to around 40 for central Alabama, but that means areas to the north will probably struggle to get out of the upper 30s. On our watch warning map, uh, those light blue colors you see and the slightly darker blue over Pennsylvania and New England, those are uh, wind chill advisories and warnings. The purple that you see extending from uh, central Illinois to the northwest into the Dakotas, that is winter weather advisories for snow on the order of three to five inches. And the uh, cyan color over the southeastern U.S., uh, southwestern Georgia, southeastern Alabama, and parts of the Florida Panhandle, that's a freeze warning for, the, uh, for that area. QPF-wise, it uh, looks like our main shot for precipitation is going to come on Monday uh, as a front moves in, uh, into the area. Uh, we have another front coming late in the weekend, uh, or late in the week, rather, uh, around uh, Wednesday, Thursday time frame, and that probably will come through dry. Storm Prediction Center has very little in the way of severe weather outlooked. Uh, as a matter of fact, for day one, we only have a few thunderstorms over the extreme uh, north uh, central United States. On uh, Tuesday, we have thunderstorms over uh, parts of the southeastern U.S. and the lower Mississippi River Valley, and uh, we may hear a little thunder. And then on uh, day three, which is actually uh, Monday, we see that we have uh, marginal risk over the central Gulf Coast states. So uh, while the risk is pretty small, it, it's not zero. All right, let's get to the 06C GFS model run. And there's our surface map for this afternoon at uh, 18Z or uh, noon. And you can see the uh, high centered over Iowa, bringing that nice uh, northerly fetch all the way down into the southeastern U.S. Fortunately, things will change pretty rapidly on uh, our upper air chart, 500 millibars. We see that the trough is moving off the east coast fairly quickly, and that moves out very briskly. Another trough is beginning to come into the uh, western Great Lakes area, uh, but that uh, will help to uh, move the high, the surface high, over to the east. And as it does, that will change the fetch for us. So we should see on Sunday, we'll start the day out with sunshine, but it looks like we uh, will see clouds by afternoon and evening uh, ahead of that next system. In the meantime, though, temperatures will moderate nicely as we get up to highs in the 50s. The upper air pattern on Monday shows an, uh, another fairly fast-moving trough uh, coming through the upper Mississippi River Valley, and that will generate a surface low over central and uh, northern Louisiana and uh, extreme eastern Texas. Uh, that will bring a warm sector up, and that's going to be the uh, threat for the marginal threat for severe weather. By Tuesday, uh, the first trough has moved uh, over into New England, but another one is diving in right behind it. So uh, we see a weak surface low just off the New England's uh, coast and the northern mid-Atlantic coast, but we have a second surface low over Illinois that's much stronger, uh, around a 997 or so uh, millibar uh, low. The upper air pattern for Wednesday, uh, we cool off once again, not especially cold. We're not getting a strong fetch from northern Canada. It's just coming out of southern Canada, so that's fairly uh, glancing blow for the cold air. Uh, you can see the surface uh, high stretching all the way from the lower Mississippi River Valley up into extreme uh, western Great Lakes area. 
That is, however, posing a fairly interesting snowstorm for uh, parts of the uh, eastern Ohio River Valley and up into New England and parts of the mid-Atlantic states. So they're going to have an interesting weather uh, scenario ahead of them. Ridging takes over on Thursday, so we warm up nicely, and uh, we see that uh, we have a bit of a surface low over the Great Lakes with the front trailing back into the lower Mississippi River Valley for Friday. That front uh, will come through as the trough moves over into New England on Saturday. That brings the front down into our area. But you can see the GFS is uh, not terribly bullish on precipitation. As a matter of fact, it looks like the atmosphere will be uh, dry enough that we probably won't see much in the way of precipitation. Uh, but we will cool off just a little bit once again. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, uh, we have kind of a mixed pattern uh, early uh, into the voodoo country area with a trough over the upper Mississippi River Valley, but we have a trough over uh, northern Mexico, which will be uh, helping to give us a bit of a southwesterly flow aloft and warm things up nicely. But the uh, trough to the north becomes the dominant feature by the uh, Wednesday, the uh, 24th of February. And then we uh, kind of moderate for several days before another trough comes in around the uh, 28th of February. So it looks like we continue to be somewhat busy with a series of these traveling weather systems. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I uh, expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning by around 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I, I'm going to have uh, an opportunity to do a little meet and greet down at the World of Wheels at the BJCC today from uh, 2 to 4 p.m. So if you happen to be down that way, be sure to look up our booth at, uh, at the World of Wheels. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Saturday and Godspeed.